is equal to zero. So when they are giving us uh, one thing, yeah. minus four is a root of this. What does this mean? Uh, that uh, the answer will come zero. Become zero. What is minus four? Minus four is x value. X value. So if minus four is a root. Okay, therefore I can say x value is minus four. Then substitute minus value minus four. So minus four square plus two bracket minus four plus four p equals to zero. Quickly tell me what is the answer for this thing. So after substituting, we got p value as minus two. Now, after that, the question asks us, find the value of k. Find the value of k. For this particular quadratic equation, which has equal roots. So, I will write down this quadratic equation, which is x square plus p bracket 1 plus 3k x Seven. Plus seven three plus two k equals to zero and has equal roots. What does equal roots mean? Alpha equals to beta. Yes or no? Okay. Alpha equals to beta. Is that thing clear? Okay. Yes or no? Okay. Now so both after looking at like this. Yeah, can you repeat? Uh, that means both the zero will be same. Yes. So, after looking at this particular question, you might feel, okay, it's so confusing. But if you pay close attention, this P is there. Oh, oh. every time, same thing is happening. Yeah. So I was saying this P is given. Can you see that? Yeah. So I'm just going to put the value of P in that. Okay. So that the question comes in one variable only. No. So let me just take advantage of this tool. Duplicate this thing. I'll write over here. And now I will just erase this P with minus 2. Is this thing clear now? Yes. Now, can you tell me what is... This is a quadratic equation now? Yes. Can you tell me what is A, what is B, and what is C? A is what? A is one. 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 Very good. This is one. Okay. B, okay. Is, B is minus two bracket one plus three k. Very good. And what is C? Seven bracket three plus two k. Seven bracket two k. Very good. Now, this information becomes very, very, very important for us. Okay, so we will be using this information. Let me just highlight this. And uh, as we know, alpha equals to beta. So I'm going to find sum and product as we have done already so many times. Sum. Alpha plus beta equals to minus b by a. And alpha, beta are equal. You want to keep in alpha or beta? You tell me. Alpha. So alpha plus alpha equals to minus b. Minus b is minus 2 bracket 1 plus 3k. 
upon a is one. Clear? Yes. So two alpha minus minus becomes plus two bracket one plus three k. Is that thing clear now? Yes. So as of now, I can't solve it further. So let me just focus on product part. Okay. Okay. So product is alpha into beta, that is C upon A. And alpha into alpha. Alpha square. That will be next step, alpha square. I'll just substitute C. C is what? 7 bracket as well. Plus 2k upon 1. So alpha square becomes 7 bracket 3 plus 2k. Is that thing clear? Okay. You don't have to open uh, bracket. No need of opening bracket. You don't have to open. I am going to just cancel this 2 and 2 over here. So alpha value will become 1 plus 3k. I will just substitute this value over there. Okay. So 1 plus 3k whole square equals to 7 into 321 plus 14k. Okay. Yes. And over here, I will apply the identity. 1 square plus a square plus b square plus 2ab that means 6k equals 21 plus 14k so keeping everything to the left hand side 9k square and 6 minus 14 6 minus 14 will give me uh, minus 8 Okay, and 1 minus 21 will give me minus 20 equals to 0. I hope there is no silly mistake over there. So this is again a quadratic equation. Can you see another quadratic equation? Yes. So we have to do the Milton splitting or we have to do quadratic formula depending upon the need of the question. Quickly do copy this thing first of all and solve this part further. Yes. Is the question clear now? Yes. 